guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. For today's video, I have this cut crease purple look. I am so in love with how it came out. I need to practice my cut creases a little bit more, but I am so in love with today's look and how it came out. Um, I know that practice makes perfect, so I just need to keep practicing and blending and just playing with makeup so your makeup skills get better. So before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there. And if you want to know how I got this look, then just keep on okay, watching. So I wanted to play with makeup today and I'm going to do or I'm going to attempt to do a cut crease, but I'm going to play with a color that I don't usually like go for, which is purple. I'm going to use the James Charles palette. And because this has like the most perfect purples you'll ever see, which are these right here. Oh no, this right here. Um, these are like so pretty. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just gonna apply some on my lids. And I'm gonna set that with some translucent powder. Now I'm gonna take the color Escape, which is um, this deep purple right here from the James Charles palette and Morphe. And I'm just gonna pack my brush. This is a Morphe M333. And I'm just gonna pack this kind of like on my upper crease. So I'm just gonna grab that purple and I'm gonna be packing it on my crease. And I'm just patting that color in my crease. Because I'm gonna go in and um, blend it with another shade. And then I'm gonna take the color single, which is a lighter purple, and it's this one right here. And I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna blend it upwards. And for that, I'm gonna take a. Okay, I'm gonna take a Morphe M513 and I'm gonna just tap the excess and start blending that purple color. Taking your time blending the shadow helps you so much and at the end of the day, like, don't brush a makeup look. So I'm just using with, uh, windshield motions just back and forth and then I'm using also like circular motions. Now I'm gonna take a Morphe M518, which is a little bit of more of a upward like that. I'm gonna take the color Skip, which is the like hot pink, and just a little bit, and I'm gonna tap the X the excess, and then I'm just gonna take that to the top and blend that purple color. I was watching one of the videos, and the girl was saying that some of these looks, like they're gonna look worse before they start getting like looking better. So don't get discouraged if like your look looks this bad. <laughs> it's just like we have to keep blending and then the shadows, we're gonna go in with the deeper shade just so that you can actually look at that deeper purple. And then I'm gonna take a Morphe M518 and I'm gonna put that in the lighter purple, which is the color single. And I'm gonna start blending this upward to my upper crease. And we're gonna blend that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take um, that M433 and I'm just gonna take M333, sorry, um, the flat shader brush and going again on that Escape Deep Shade Purple and applying a little bit more just so that we don't lose that deep purple. And then the 513. I'm just using circular motions to 
blend that. Now that we have come to where we want the blending um, to be, we're gonna go ahead and cut our crease, which that's where I get more nervous. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I picked this one up, this brush from Morphe. This is a Morphe 421, and it's a very tiny flat shader brush. Um, it's more of a synthetic brush, and this is very similar to the actual brush I use to carve up my brows, which is a Sigma, oh, the, the number already like rubbed off, but I think it's a Sigma 45, I'm not sure, but it's very similar to like the um, th synthetic brush from Sigma, and um, this is just a tinier version. So that's what I'm gonna be using today to go ahead and like cut my crease. Um, and I'm gonna use my concealer that we used to prime my lids to actually go ahead and cut the crease. So I'm just gonna pack the concealer on my brush and have it super packed of uh, concealer. And what we wanna do is we're gonna put a little bit here on our lid and then we're gonna look up so that we have the actual, um, a little bit above, above of our crease. I'm just gonna pack a little bit of the concealer here and then start looking up. And then as you can see, it kinda made that crease right there. So that's basically where we're gonna be carving our um, cut crease. Pretty happy with how they came out. Pretty happy. Now I'm gonna apply what I'm gonna apply on my little like cut crease half moon. I'm gonna take my highlight from ColourPop. This is the color uh, Flexitarian Super Shock uh, Super Shock Cheek um, Highlighter. And I'm just gonna apply that with my finger, and I'm gonna apply that to the cut crease. Now I'm gonna take a Morphe M433. And I'm gonna mix that color Escape. I'm gonna apply that one first. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go with the color Spooky. And I'm just gonna darken this outer crease. And first, I'm just kinda like patting the color. And then I'm just gonna start blending. And I'm just using my finger, kind of like blending that um, concealer and the shade we put on the cut crease. I'm just packing the shade right now and then I'm going to start blending. Very lightly. I'm going to go in with that um, Morphe M513 and with no excess powder, and I'm just gonna blend my crease here a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with that same Morphe M433, which we just packed the outer corner um, purple shade, and I'm gonna go in with the color Spooky, which is the black one, and I'm just gonna pack that, and then pack it a little bit here. I just want to go in with a clean, small brush to blend the transitions between both shades. And I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with a um, pencil brush, and I'm gonna grab the color single, which is the lighter purple, and I'm just gonna. Place it in between the cut crease and the darker purple and black. I'm 
I'm just gonna take a tiny fluffy brush. So I just use that pencil brush to just place that lighter purple. And now I'm just gonna take the M513 again and kind of like patting and blending. I want it to be more like a galaxy look, kind of like, I don't know, like that's like the image I have in my head. So um, I have the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit and I'm gonna take this the shade, um, I think I'm gonna combine Star, which is more of a um, bluish highlight and then I'm gonna also combine this one, which is purple uh, horseshoe, horse, horseshoe, horseshoe, <laughs> and I'm gonna combine those and then I'm gonna put them in the actual uh, cut crease. So I'm gonna apply that directly on top. I feel like I need a little bit more of a, mm, like, I don't know why. I'm gonna, Lucky Clover is more of a green. Okay, I'm gonna take the pink heart, which has a little bit of um, a pink undertone and with that same brush I'm just gonna put it on the inner part of my um, cut crease so just above here I'm gonna go and clean up my mess. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like this and then work on my face and we're gonna go ahead and move on to um, our lower lash line and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on and work on my lower lash line and I'm gonna be using the same brushes that I used throughout the, um, the look on top. So I'm first gonna start with a smaller shaded brush just because um, obviously I don't want to pack a lot of, um, of that color and I don't want it to run too low on my lower lash line. So I'm gonna take this Morphe M167 and I'm just gonna uh, pack the color uh, called Scape and put it really close to my lower lash line. This one, this is an E18 by Morphe, and I'm gonna take the color Single, which is the lighter purple, and blend that with Escape. And with this R41 by Morphe, I'm gonna take a little bit of that hot pink called Skip, and running it a little bit on top of that. For my inner corner so my inner corner like i said i want a really bright inner corner so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the moon child um anastasia Beverly the hills um highlight palette and i'm gonna take the color blue eyes and i'm gonna use another e18 and i'm just gonna put it on my inner corner and kind of connecting that with my cut crease but not so close. So the, um, the highlight, I'm just placing it right here. And then I'm just, I feel like my um, crease needs a little bit more of a bang, like something a little bit brighter. I'm gonna put a little bit of the shade uh, Ring Light from the James Charles palette, which is um, this highlight shade right here. And it's it has like kind of like a gold undertone, but it's more on the white side. So I'm just going to take my ring finger and just pat it a little bit on top. Yeah, perfect. Just like that. And to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to take that same um, color that I took on my inner corner, the color Blue Eyes from the Moonchild palette by Anastasia. And I'm going to take this tiny more, uh, Sephora Small Shadow uh, number 15 brush. And I'm just gonna dip that and then put it really high on our brow bone. So this is the final look right here. I am extremely happy with how it came out. 
I need to practice my cut creases a little bit more, but this look, I am so in love. I usually stare away from purple and like, I don't know why, I just, it's such a beautiful color, and I just wanted to give it a try today. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. As always, my social media are going to be linked down below, as well as all the products that I use in today's video. So yeah, until then, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!